Hello guys and welcome back to another building tutorial. In today's tutorial we will build a townhouse museum. I've already made two other townhouse videos, one containing multiple resident townhouses and another one containing a townhouse tavern. So if you want you can make your own little city by adding all these buildings next to each other on one street. The map I'm using for this video is again made by OneCore. You can find the link to him in the video description. With that being said, let's begin with the tutorial. As a first step, we will place the outlines for our building. The big rectangle indicates the fundament of the building, while the smaller one shows the entrance area. Now that we're done with the outlines, we will start building the pillars using oak planks and stripped oak log. We will make the pillars 14 blocks high. Next we will build the foundation using spruce and dark oak wood as seen in the video. We will do the same at the back side of the building. The sides of the building can be left untouched. Now we will start building the walls and windows of our museum. At the lowest layer we will place smooth sandstone and birch planks. Above them we will add stairs on the side and keep a 4x3 hole in the middle. At the top of the window outline we will add slabs on the sides and a trapdoor in the middle. To complement the windows we will add trapdoors right below them and put flower pots with saplings on top of the trapdoors. Next we will place rows of scaffoldings behind the window outlines and place blue wool on the sides which will look like curtains. The rest will be filled out with black wool which will create a nice contrast. Now we will repeat the same pattern on the right side of the front and three times on the back side of the museum. We will fill the remaining gaps on the back side with smooth sandstone and birch stairs as seen in the video. Next we will simply fill the right and left side of the building with smooth sandstone and birch planks. We will now start building the entrance stairs. First we will follow the outlines with a one block layer of birch and sandstone and after that we'll place slabs above them, creating the shape of our stairs. As a next step we will build the entrance pillars using sandstone walls and smooth sandstone. We will go with a height of 14 blocks and additionally build birch and smooth sandstone stairs around the pillars. To add some more decoration we will build another 4x3 block structure between the pillars using smooth sandstone and birch wood. In the middle of it we are going to place two coarse dirt blocks with tall grass on top. We will surround it with dark oak fans and spruce fans. Now we will fill the first two blocks on the right and left with smooth sandstone and birch stairs all the way to the top. We will continue by building two 9 block high pillars consisting of oak stairs. On top of them we will place a single oak block each and connect both of the pillars with an oak slab arch. Next we will place a 4 block high pole consisting of sandstone walls in the middle and add three birch trapdoors on top of it. With a one block gap, we will place another row of oak slabs above the trapdoors. On the upper part, we are going to place two layers of stairs with another window frame on top. We will again create a nice contrast by placing black wool behind the window and entrance outlines. Now we will place a 4x13 block rectangle consisting of oak slabs above the pillars. We will add oak trapdoors and slabs below it as seen in the video. We will then proceed by building a pyramid shape on top of the slabs. 
we will replace the slabs below the pyramid with stairs and in the middle place two sandstone walls. Next we will finish off the roof and add four signs on every second layer. As a next step we will start building the roof by two rows of birch and sandstone on top of the original walls. We will then add two layers of birch and smooth sandstone stairs around the two rows that we just placed. To continue we will place two layers consisting of acacia wood, deep slate and deep slate coal inside and above the stairs. We will do the exact same thing again, just with one more layer. Above the last layer we will place another row of upside stairs around the roof. To add some detail we will add anvils and andesite walls on top of the roof. To finish off the building we will place a window in the middle of the roof. Now that we are done with the museum itself, we will add a walkway by using polished andesite slabs for the outlines, as well as andesite, granite and stone slabs for the main part. For the road I decided to use light grey concrete powder and clean stone. If you want, you can also add some additional street lanterns as seen in the video. As a very last step, we will add markings to the road using white wool. And this is already it for today's tutorial. As mentioned in the very beginning, this is a modular building which you can add next to other houses in this style. If you're seeking for some inspiration, you can have a look at my two other townhouse videos which offer further townhouse designs. But if you want, you can also of course turn it into a standalone building and simply add windows at the sides. I hope you liked today's video and if you would love to see further building tutorials, feel free to subscribe. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.